Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Tuesday. It's another sad day for our nation. Um, right on the heels of the horrific shooting in Atlanta, uh, where eight people were killed. We're hearing about another shooting in Boulder, Colorado, where 10 people were killed, including, including a police officer. And it's just, it's numbing and it's horrific and it's terrible and it's uh, anger inducing and it's grief inducing. And I, I don't know what to do with that yet. Um, and maybe you're the same way where we've got to find some way to, to, to mitigate this. And, and, and it seems that, uh, I don't know, disturbed white men with guns are the leading cause of these mass shootings. And we've got to find some way to fix it. Uh, that's, yeah, that's for <laughs> politicians to figure out, right? Yeah, good luck. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but what I do know is we can gather and, and take this time and spend time in, in, in God's word and do Devo together. So let's do that. And we're doing a story to tell, our Lenten devotional. We have a new writer through the end of Lent. It's Pastor David Miller, uh, pastor of faith formation at St. Timothy Lutheran Church in Naperville, Illinois. And there is the picture for today. A, it's like a, a water jar, oil jar, wine jar there. And the uh, scripture verse is Mark 14, 3. While Jesus was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, he, as he sat at the table, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment of nard and broke open the jar and poured the ointment on his head. And that's it. That's a, We get one verse today, Mark 14, 3. The two-ponder part is a quote uh, from a book called Passionate Spirituality. Um, and that was written by Elizabeth Dreyer to ponder. Passion involves a transformation in which love of others, the desire to heal, to offer comfort and hope, take on a radically new character. When we allow authentic passion to have its way, we can return to love and life and service with new verve and feeling. The experience of passion wounds with the fire of love and opens the door to utter fullness of humanity in God. That's what this world needs, I think, a little bit more of, huh? A lot more of passion. Well, the transformation which love of love of others, love of others, the desire to heal, to offer comfort and hope take on radically new character. The uh, devotion that is titled uh, by Pastor Miller as Only Love. Um, the Beatles were right, all we need is that. All we need is love. We need a whole lot more of it in this world, that's for sure. So let's, let's listen to what Dave, Pastor David says. It is impossible for me not to love this unnamed woman for her heart flows with the love I most want to feel. She grasps the handle of the jar in her right hand, her left caressing the stone curve of the body, balancing the weight. Without a word, she kneels beside Jesus and pours out the oil, her eyes never leaving the darkness of his hair. There is no one else in the world for her in this moment, just she and Jesus, and the lavish love spilling from her heart more extravagant than the oil she pours. Why such love? What moves her to such excess? Only love can do this. The love that wakes within when the soul is one with the heart of Christ. The silent passion in her eyes is a holy gift from the one who is God's love for us now and always. The very sight of her draws us to kneel there beside Jesus and share her work, hoping we might become as beautiful as she. Only love can do this. Only love can move in this world uh, to heal and help um, those who are wounded by gun violence and any kind of violence. Hmm. There's a 
lot there to take with us this day. It reminds me of the scene in uh, the rock opera, Jesus Christ Superstar, where Mary Magdalene, the character of Mary Magdalene, sees the exhaustion in Jesus and, and, and anoints his head with myrrh uh, to, to kind of relax him and, and uh, reduce the tension that is in his, his, his body. And then uh, after, um, the, the refrain is, close your eyes. She sings to him, close your eyes and relax. And then after that, immediately after that, she goes off by herself and sings, I don't, I don't know how to love him. Because the love she has for Jesus is unlike any other love she's ever felt for any other person. That's when her, and that, you know, like Pastor David says, it's, it's, her soul is one with the heart of Christ. It's that passion that she has. A passion that we all desire to write for Jesus. Well, kind of a heavy morning for us, um, but we trust and we know that God is with us in spite of all the evidence that seems to be otherwise, right? God is with us and holding us close. And God is with those families of the victims and holding them close. Um, yeah. So be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church. Um, Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. We're getting there, uh, but we still need to practice, you know, washing our hands and wearing our masks and six feet of distance, staying home as much as we can and getting those vaccines when it's our turn. This, these are ways we do show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Um, this day, uh, find some way to, to, to love Jesus by loving others, right? Whether it's, it's, uh, making a phone call, or writing a note, just helping somebody out. Just love somebody today, okay? Let's pray. Awaken holy passion in our hearts, O Lord, that overwhelmed with love, we may give ourselves to you and be transformed in your likeness. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.